Your Excellency, President William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Chair of the African Committee of Heads of State and Government of Climate Change, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Gentlemen. Uh, Mr. President, thank you very much for being a gracious host of this August Assembly that states the tone of Africa's growth now and the future. I thank the government and the people of Kenya for the excellent preparation of the summit and the warm reception accorded to me and my delegation. The convening of this important summit is both timely and opportune at the theme driving green growth and climate finance solution for Africa and the world is quite befitting, especially now ahead of COP28, where parties will take stock of our efforts to address the climate crisis and commitment to address both climate crisis in the context of the Paris Agreement and the Climate Convention itself. Excellencies, the stakes are high and actions have to take place not tomorrow, but today and literally now. As Africans, we have no choice but to see the moment to capitalize on its potential to offer solutions to green growth and decarbonization and while creating resilience to its co communi our communities and economies. We can no longer afford to address economic development, climate change, and African poverty burden in, a, in isolation. The interplay between development and climate change is undeniable, and this interlink demand integrated and coherent solution that would provide opportunity for socio-economic development of Africa. Excellencies, while continu uh, the continent is highly impacted by the changing climate, it is nevertheless holding the key to solving the climate challenge. The just released Economic Development in Africa Report 2023 shows the potential of Africa to capture technology-intensive global supply chains, and it said it all about development of Africa with climate change. It provides a unique insight into Africa's centrality to the green transition that will clearly transform our continent economies. It is said that they literally it is said that all metals and minerals that are important and strategic for the low carbon transition are abundantly found in Africa. And these are chromium, lithium, natural graphite, nickel, nobium, rare earth metals, silver, and many more. Given the abundance of these minerals, the continent needs to reposition itself not only as a supplier of raw materials globally, but strengthen the value chains by ensuring their conversion into intermediate and final products is done within the continent. As critical minerals, as they were called critical minerals, they have to make critical contributions to our internal revenue collection and employment creation. They also have to contribute critically in the environmental protection in our countries. So having all these, Africa has to stand firm to use the materials for our own development. Excellencies, human capital dividend in Africa is another force to reckon. To avoid the past mistakes uh, in the history of the, our continent, we need to focus on human capital advancement by training our own people, especially youth, 
uh, so as to be able to reap from these vast opportunities. We need to consider the climate crisis as an opportunity to address the youth unemployment challenges. Excellencies, beyond the African potentials, we have potentials in our individual countries. My country, Tanzania, is leading the way by demonstrating strong momentum in driving the green growth. Almost 95% of our energy is from hydro and natural gas. We are also leading in nature conservation with almost 38% uh, of our land mass under conservation in various regimes. We are also committed in nurturing the ecosystems that hold the promise of creating thousands of new jobs and unlimited national economic and global benefits. Talking on the offering of critical mineral to the world, Tanzania has huge deposits of some of these critical minerals needed today. Helium is present around Lake, uh, Lake Rukwa Basin, nickel deposit around Lake Victoria, graphite reserves at the southern eastern part of the country, and we also accommodate other deposits, critical minerals, including copper and lithium, as well as rare elements. Despite of the above scenario, we, however, need to face the fact that Tanzania, and indeed the whole of African continent, still faces unprecedented impacts of climate change with limited capacity to finance the mitigation and adaptation needs. And thus, as we head towards COP28, we have to raise an African voice on the establishment of a special establishment and capitalization of a special fund for Africa. The contribution which are, and the pledges which are given by the advanced uh, countries have to say what percentage of those pledges goes to Africa and not just a blanket pledges. As I conclude, and as you are all aware, Tanzania is hosting the AGRF Food and Agriculture Summit this same week. The presidential summit is on 7th of September, uh, a day after tomorrow. I therefore wish to this opportunity to once again invite you to Tanzania, and I'll personally be there to welcome you all. Once again, once again, I congratulate you, Mr. President Ruto, for organizing such a successful event, and I look forward to seeing you all in Dar es Salaam. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Another round of applause for President Samia Suluhu Hassan. Now it's my pleasure to 